Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to do something new. We're going to take a look at a Kickstarter comic called Fey Archaic. Hey, welcome back to Comic Book News. Today we're going to look at uh, a, a comic called Fey Archaic. Now, uh, the creator wrote to me and said, Hey, Dan, my name's Kirk Burdick, and I do a comic called Fey Archaic. I've launched a Kickstarter to raise funds for printing. I was wondering if you could give it a plug on your show. If not, no worries. I really liked your commentary on Elementals and Kamiko. Have you thought of doing an episode on some of the first comics like American Flag and Chatter? Anyway, here's a link to my Kickstarter. Uh, so, uh, in your answer, no, I haven't thought about that, but I will. Um, what I have been thinking about, though, is Kickstarter and your comic. So, Fay Archaic, uh, a crime-ridden fairy tale redux, redo, I don't know how you pronounce that, uh, a criminal underworld of brutal fairies, sinister schemes, and relentless spirits. This is uh, high fantasy meets pulp crime. This is J.R. Tolkien uh, meets Raymond Chandler. Uh, you've got one of those video uh, trailers here for it, but you know what? Even better, you sent me a PDF copy of the actual book. So let's take a look at, at some pages from Fay Archaic and, and talk about it. Now, one th interesting choice that you made uh, was it's written in sort of the style of old-fashioned newspaper comics, meaning that uh, <clears throat> it's a lot of uh, caption boxes and uh, sort of uh, narration, and less what we come to think of as a modern sort of uh, comic with word balloons and stuff. Although, you know, you do have sound effects and occasional word balloons, and you've sort of blended the approach of... of uh, you know, uh, th that old style and, and a newer style, wh which I like. Um, it has some of its limitations, which we'll talk about. Um, but overall, what's clear is that you've got an incredible sense of design and an incredible uh, imagination. This stuff looks cl both classic, but also fresh. I love the way that you've taken the sort of fairy tale aesthetic of gnomes and dwarves and frogs and stuff and given it a sort of like a, a gritty underbelly, right? So these these fairies get in fist fights and and uh, they do weird blood drugs and uh, uh, they're involved in crimes, right? They're 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 not all nice people. In fact, some of them are are pretty awful. Uh, your design work is awesome. Your world building. I, I want to take a second to talk about the world building. Like one of the details I, I thought was great was when somebody asked for uh, uh, ten gold turtles. And uh, that you've got a footnote saying that that means a, a, a thousand gold crowns and that a dove is equal to 50 gold crowns. Like little currency conversion in foreign gold currency. Ah, ooh, I love that, right? Those little details to me are, are part of what makes like world building and fantasy and sci-fi really exciting. And you do that really well. And there's multiple other ways that you do it. Um, beside that, your, your sense of design and color wonderful it's beautiful uh, there, there's a, a a sense of like the old world fairy tale but there's real action scenes as well and moment to moment action that has almost a, a maybe a manga or japanese influenced feel to it um while at the same time you know being um unique and fresh i, I really really like it um for me, the the art is 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 really fantastic. I only see you going a lot further uh, in this department. What I would like to see is more of a traditional comics approach, I, where I thought the story was good, your writing was excellent, and and um, it was easy enough to follow and really did work well in this case. I still am just a fan of more traditional approach to characterization and stories and more dialogue between characters and things like that. Um, it, it's just something that I enjoy a little bit more and I'd like to see you working in that approach but um, it is what it is it, your approach is fantastic and really uh, I only see you going uh, great places from here so I, I hope that you get your Kickstarter um, fully funded I know I'm going to sign up and get a copy of this and check it out because you've got some fantastic concepts here uh, little things like the idea that uh, the fairy knows to hide out among uh, the tree octopuses, octopi, because they mask the smell of the fey folk. Little details like that are the things that make 
story's really memorable to me. And man, you've you've got that going on. So uh, so kudos to you on that. Um, so hey, go out and check out Fay Archaic. Go check. Uh, go to Kickstarter. Check out Fay Archaic. Um, if you like it, you can fund it for a, as little as five dollars is going to get you a digital copy, uh, and for twenty bucks you can get a copy of the hardcover. And there's varying levels uh, uh, that you can help support the project in, depending on your passion for it. So um, I hope you'll check it out. Speaking of passion, this this whole video thing for me is a big passion project, and I really appreciate every one of you that supports me. So um, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and uh, Thanks for watching.